There is a greater longing for home which you should have, and it's not for America, and it's not for Jamaica, but it is a longing for our home in heaven. The Apostle Peter, in his first epistle, chapter 2, verse 11, refers to us as strangers and aliens. Truth being, for those of us that are Christians, none of us are at home. This world is not my home. Not Pennsylvania, not New York, not Jamaica. Nowhere on planet Earth is my permanent residence. Providentially, the New Testament reading this afternoon was from the book of Hebrews. Listen again as I read some verses. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9. By faith, speaking of Abraham, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. And then in the next verse it says, For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Down in verse 16 it says, But now they desire a better, that is a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. You see, I go to Jamaica primarily every year for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I go there with great joy to do whatever we can with the medical teams that we take, or the dental teams that we take, or whatever help that we can take to distribute among the people there. But my primary reason for being there is the gospel of Jesus Christ, that is to convince those people that there is a home in heaven. And I am primarily there because of the gospel, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation, and also to the Greek. And so we take great joy in our missionary efforts, and we are always more blessed than the blessing that we give out. But let there be no mistake, my primary reason for traveling to the beautiful country of Jamaica is to tell the beautiful people in Jamaica about the most beautiful, precious Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is why I am here today. As a matter of fact, that is why I exist. And I want to say to you today that if you have come here today and if you do not know him, please know this. You are going to spend eternity somewhere. And the difference between that somewhere being a hell where you will be writhing in pain with no means of escape and a heaven where you will be delighting ever before the throne of God is the fact that God in love sent His only begotten Son to come to the filth and obscurity of a manger in Bethlehem and to be despised and rejected by men and to live a life of perfection in complete obedience to the law of God. And as the voice of God thundered at His baptism, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. That precious Savior went to the cross and took upon Him the wrath that was due unto us. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And there upon the cross, the Scripture says that it pleased the Lord to bruise Him and to make His soul an offering for sin. And Jesus upon the cross cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why did God forsake me? Why did, Christ, why did God forsake Christ? It is because of my sin and your sin. And Jesus there bore it all, and he cried out, It is finished, meaning every wicked thing that we have ever done was made in full. And whoever believes in him will not perish. That's why we go to the That's why I'm here today. That is why I live. So, my message today is not about Jamaica. It is not about culture. It is not about geography or independence or government or politics or patwa. My message today is about hope and life and unity and joy and the forgiveness of sins and eternal life and salvation and heaven and the real place we call home. Heaven, the true residence which is waiting for the hearts of those that love Christ. Heaven, which is obtained through Christ. And so as I close today, I just want to tell you about Jesus for a few moments. Oh, how I love Jesus. Jesus said, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, but these are they which testify of me. Let me tell you about Jesus. He's all